In this video, I'm going to talk about feasible region and optimal solution. Let's take a look at what they mean. A feasible region contains all points that satisfy all the constraints and assigned restrictions. So here you can see it is a representation or visualization of the Giappetto problem. The shaded area here is the feasible region which means that all points in that feasible region satisfy all the constraints and assign restrictions. So let's take a look at some examples here. For example, the point 40, 20, x1 equals 40 and x2 equals 20 is a feasible point because it satisfies all the constraints and all sign restrictions. And you can also see that it is actually in the feasible region, in the shaded area. Let's take a look at another point here, like 1570. This point, we call it invisible because it does not satisfy at least one of the constraint or one of the sign restrictions. You can see here that this point does not satisfy the second constraint. 15 plus 70 is not less than or equal to 80. Therefore, it is an invisible point. You can also see that it falls outside of the feasible region. Now, another point is 40 point minus 20. This is obviously an invisible point because you can see that it does not satisfy the second sign restriction. X2 is negative 20. Therefore, it is an invisible point. So what is an optimal solution? In the maximization case, an optimal solution is a point in the feasible region with the largest objective function value. In other words, you compare all the points in the feasible region, and the one that has the largest objective function value, you call it an optimal solution. Accordingly, in the minimization problem, you also compare all points in the feasible region and the one with the smallest objective function value, you call it an optimal solution. Let's go back to the Giappetto problem, which is a maximization problem. You can see here that the point G is an optimal solution because among all points here in the shaded area in the feasible region, the point G has the largest objective function value. You can check that the z value of this point using this function equals two, uh, sorry, equals three times 20 plus two times 60 equals 180. So G is the optimal point for the Giappetto problem. Okay, so here are some questions to check your understanding about feasible region and optimal solution. First question, an optimal solution is also a feasible solution or a feasible point, true or false? I will give you the answer after the pause, so I strongly suggest you to pause the video as well to think about this question. The answer is true. Yes, an optimal solution must satisfy all constraints and sign restrictions, thus, it is also a feasible solution. The other way, however, a feasible solution is not always an optimal solution. So let me make it clear. An optimal solution must be a feasible solution in the first place. However, a feasible solution may or may not be an optimal solution. The second question. A solution or a point that satisfy all constraints must be a feasible solution, true or false. The answer for this one is false. To become a feasible solution, a solution must also satisfy the sign restrictions. So not only the constraints, but it also must satisfy the sign restrictions, such that we can call it a feasible solution.